<laughs> Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? It's a Friday, Frilici Friday. How is everybody doing? Oh my gosh, it's like the most beautiful, like sunshiny Friday, like fall Friday. Like the leaves are actually still on the trees, which is just craziness. Um, so yeah, it's beautiful. I think I'm at some point this weekend, I'm probably gonna have to get out and rake some leaves. I haven't done that, really. I think I did it once, and that was about it, just to mow the lawn. Um, yeah, which that's not happening anymore. So yeah, hopefully everybody's had a good couple of weeks. It's great to be back. You guys, we have this beautiful suite of products. Hello, Philomena, thanks for joining me today. Called the, and I wanna make sure I get it right. Um, I was gonna say, I was gonna say the opposite. It's Eden's Garden Suite. Linda, hello. Oh, thank you for sharing too, Philomena. The Eden's Garden Suite, that's what we're gonna be playing with today. So. Good morning, Linda. As demonstrators, if you're a demonstrator, we have been able to order this beautiful suite of products for the past month. So all of October we could order and now customers can start ordering it as well. So I kind of held off on sharing it on Facebook Live thinking, okay, let's do it at the very beginning of November when as far as I know, everything is still available. There is um, a stamp set, designer series paper. There are beautiful dyes. There's another cotton paper, which is like a little bit, I'm gonna call it kind of like um, tissue paper, but I think it's thicker than that. So we could have some fun with that as well. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, the beautiful gems too. Oh my gosh, those are gorgeous. So I, it's like too much to show you, but although I have to show you the paper is so pretty. So let's kind of, you know, I can show you that, right? So this will kind of get your um, appetite wet, I would say for, um, all of the beautiful projects I'm going to share with you. Where is there? Is there one more? Okay. I was like, I feel like there should be six sheets because that's how we usually do it, right? Okay. So, and it features, we have um, two of our in colors, the um, most recent in colors. So, Emerald Envy and Soft Succulent and then kind of white and gold too. Can you see the beautiful gold accents on there? If I kind of get that just in the right light. So there's one side. Yes, the paper is beautiful, isn't it, Linda? And then here's the back side. This one does not have the gold accents on it. I'm trying to like fan it out a little bit better. There we go. Um, okay, there. <laughs> now you guys can see, right? But it's still just as gorgeous. I used both sides of the paper. So again, Emerald Envy, Soft Succulent, and um, Basic White. I don't know if I said Whisper White. I still, I still say that wrong since we changed our white color. Um, and I'll show you that, um, the other cotton paper, I'll show you that in a little bit. But yeah, the paper is beautiful, the projects are, and the dyes too, I have them all. I haven't done this before, but I actually, when I first got the dyes, I like grabbed um, Emerald Envy and Soft Succulent cardstock, and there are five different dyes in this set, and so I cut all five of the dyes in each of the colors, and then I use some of them on my projects, and then I've got some others. So when we flip the camera down, because I can't, I didn't like tack them onto paper. So as I'm looking at them, they're on like um, the table right here, right down here. So when we flip the camera down, I'll show you guys those too, because they're beautiful. And I used, I think I used almost all of the dyes too, which is kind of fun. So yeah, we're gonna have lots and lots of fun playing with that um, suite of products. Um, and again, oh, the thing that I will tell you guys, and let me make sure, um, so the stamp set and the dies are going to be part of our next January to June mini catalog, but the Eden Garden, the or Ever Eden specialty designer series paper is only available while supplies last, as well the Ever Eden cotton paper and the garden gems. I'm gonna show you the gems too, just because I think they're so pretty. Um, and they say they are cherry cobbler and soft succulent are the colors of the gems. Now the cherry cobbler, I think, because they're so faceted, you can kind of see the red, especially in this light, but at first I thought they looked um, almost more like a deep green. But so these are the cherry cobbler and they've got kind of small and then larger, and these are like a little teardrop. They're beautiful in the soft succulent. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But again, so if you love that paper, I'm gonna show you the cotton paper when we flip the camera down, um, or if you love the, gems make sure you order them as soon as possible and i know i always am like oh you know people are like oh yeah whatever but every single time it happens or something sells out and people are like oh i didn't get the gems and i really wanted them or i didn't get the designer series paper so get them while you can because those are not going to be in the catalog the stamp set and the dies will be in our next catalog though as i'm making sure 
if I'm giving you guys good info. Yeah, and there's actually a full, um, so for $82, you can get all of it. You can get the stamp set, the dies, the designer series paper, the cotton ribbon, and the gems. And they give you the bundle price to um, the stamp set and dies. So that $82 is one code and you can get everything in that suite. And again, that one is only available while supplies last because once the gems and papers sell out, then they won't be able to sell that bundle like that any longer either. Okay, so yeah, it's beautiful. You guys are gonna love it. I'm like super excited to share those projects with you guys. So, but in the meantime, oops, I moved my notes and I'm like, what am I doing? Um, oh, the other awesome thing, and this was like a big surprise to me. I wasn't expecting this. Um, we have another starter kit deal, you guys. So, and this is awesome, okay? So it's normally $99 and you pick $125 in product and don't pay any shipping, just sales tax. So it's $104.94. Hey, Mary, thanks for joining us. Um, but now, instead of $99 plus sales tax, it's only $75 plus sales tax. The shipping fee is waived. Hello, Dawn. Thanks for joining us today. So I think this is like just an amazing deal. I think I calculated, let me check my notes. Yes. So. Pick $125 in product, pay only $75 plus sales tax. That is a savings of over $66 in the starter kit. So it's really almost like half off, right? Because you get to pick seven, or you get to only, you get to pick $125 in product and you only pay $75 plus sales tax. So in Michigan, that's $79.50, where normally, right, it'd be like $125 plus 10% tax or shipping plus 6% sales tax on all of that. So awesome deal, savings of over $66 on the starter kit. You get to become an Inkspired Stamper too if you order the starter kit through me, which I would absolutely love for you guys to do that. I love welcoming new team members, new Inkspired Stampers into our group. We have a separate Facebook group where we do other fun business challenges and creative challenges. Uh, we do swapping at our team meetings every month. Even if you're long distance, you can mail your swaps into me. I swap them around for you at the meeting and I mail them back to you. Um, we have make and takes that we do at our meeting. We have a separate um, well, the meeting is done on a Facebook Live on our separate Facebook group too, so you can really feel like you're a part of things as well. So I would love to have you um, join us and become an Inkspired Stamper. I do lots of recognition also for new team members. Um, so yeah, there's just so much good stuff, you know, as you're reaching different um, sales goals and milestones and promotions, I recognize you for all of that as well. In addition, Stampin' Up! does a good job of that too. So yeah, I would love, love, love to have you take advantage of, plus, oh my gosh, seriously, even if you like, I know people get a little bit worried about like, oh, I wanna buy the starter kit, but I don't wanna be a demonstrator. You don't have to do anything. Most people get the starter kit deal even it's so funny when you read like we have had um, a number of million dollar sales achievers and pretty much every you know they'll share like a little story you know backstory on how they got started and pretty much every single one of them bought the starter kit just because they love the products and wanted to get the discount louise hello hi thank you you're yes you're finally making a live video i love that you can join us today so thanks for hanging out with louise i've missed you your name i haven't seen your name pop up in a while so it's great to have you joining us so anyway yeah back to the whole starter kit thing right so um don't ever feel like you have to do anything in terms of being a demonstrator if you want to obviously that opportunity is totally there for you um, a lot of times it happens super organically where like you know you're playing with your products and you're like giving people cards maybe you give them i love this idea too i did this a ton in the very beginning i was making all kinds of cards and i'm like what am i going to do with all of these so i would like package them up super cute and like a little gift bag and give them to people for birthday presents or christmas presents so still love to do that people love to get uh, handmade cards from you as a present and then you never know you might find that one or two friend or family member that is like you know this is super duper cute and that's happened to me also a um, couple of aunts and cousins that are like wow I really want to learn how to do this too um, so that organically that's kind of how it happens it's just by sharing things and the next thing you know they're like hey I want to come over and make cards with you or let's do a class I've got some other friends um, so it doesn't have to be anything super planned out if you want to obviously I'm here to help you do that as well but there's never any pressure um, most people like I said even 
pretty much every single one of our million dollar achievers bought the starter kit just because they got an awesome deal and then they wanted to get that 20% discount on all of their products. So it starts out like that and you never know, you could be our next million dollar sales achiever too. So it can happen. Hey, Abby, hello, how are you today? Um, so yeah, let's do our first, we're gonna do our first drawing right now. I have names in my little Stampin' Up! basket, right? Every time you share the Facebook Live video. Um, so this video right now, start sharing it, share, share, share as many times as you like. Your name is in the drawing for as many shares as you do anytime between right now and our next Facebook Live video. And then also, if you haven't signed up for my email list and you hop over to Constant Contact and you do that, your name will be in this drawing as well. Now, I will tell you, um, after this Facebook Live video, there are a bunch of details that will pop up, um, or I'll, I'll put them, they'll pop up because I'll put them on there, right? Um, anyway, one of them is a link to join my email list. So if you haven't done that yet, hop on over, do that, and your name will be in the drawing. And what are we gonna give away? Let's Let's see, we have these super beautiful, these wonderful gems, which I actually just used these on my club member treats. I love, especially these, um, they're kind of like a clear, but then they've got like champagne sparkly ness in them. <laughs> sparkly ness, right? Is that a word? Um, yeah, so I love those. And then um, these are real red gems too that have a sparkly ness in them as well. You can't, I feel like you can't see the sparkly ness quite as much in the red as you can, probably because they're clear and then it's like a champagne kind of dust in there or something. So Susan, hello, welcome. So this is what we're going to draw for right now. We're going to give away the wonderful gems on Facebook Live. Okay, so I got names in here. I'm shaking them all around and like I always have to separate them if I feel a couple of them stuck together. Okay, here we go. The winner of the wonderful gems. Oh, too funny. There's a girl that just rode by riding her bike and then her dog is like kind of jogging along beside her. She's not going too fast. I always worry about the dogs when people do that. Like, can they keep up? Are they ready to just like pass out? But they can't stop because you're dragging them along on your bike. Hopefully not, right? Okay, all right, here we go. We have our winner, Miss Pam Simmons. All right, can we see that? There we go. Miss Pam Simmons, congratulations. You are the winner of the wonderful gems. So I will get those mailed out to you. Okay, I'll dump those out of the way. Um, I am gonna grab a quick sip of water. <laughs> I know it is kind of funny, isn't it, Linda? All right, uh, Let's see, let me make sure I'm on track here. Check my notes. Oh, you know what I forgot to mention? Pam, look at that. Pam, I just drew your name. Did you just pop on? And you already shared this video, so your name will be in the next drawing too. But Pam, if you missed it, I just drew your name. You won the wonderful gems. So I will get those sent out to you. That's too funny. Like that was like crazy timing. So what are we gonna give away on our next Facebook Live? These other, oh my gosh, all these gems, you guys know me, right? <laughs> You're welcome, yay, thank you, she says. Um, I cannot, like I have to put like bling on almost, maybe not a masculine card, right? Um, I do try, sometimes you can use those metallic pearls, like especially the silver pearls, you can put those on a manly card, right? Um, but yeah, I pretty much have to put like some sparkle or bling on pretty on almost every card that I make. So these are what we're gonna give away on our next Facebook Live are the opal rounds. So very similar, they've got um, sparkliness in them, but I think these can kind of go even more pastel colors. They, they're they almost, well, they're opal, right? So they kind of have that opalescent tint to them where they kind of, you know, pinks, greens, blues, um, just beautiful opal sparkly ness, glittery ness on them. So that's what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live. Okay, um, I did put names in there for the next one. All right, oh, and this is what I just realized. <laughs> is your thing too? Yeah, say hey, Becky, <laughs> thanks for joining us. That's cute, bling is my thing. That is, that's probably a saying I could use also. And Becky, thank you for sharing the video. Your name will be in our drawing on, next, uh, on our next Facebook Live. Um, okay, so this is what I forgot. I knew I was like, oh, I feel like there's something else in here that I wanted to mention. They Stampin' Up! just announced that we are going to be doing what they're calling a seasonal sale. So typically, we do it kind of around Thanksgiving, Black Friday, but they actually bumped it up 
um, a, like a week or maybe a week or so um, earlier in November. So the seasonal sale is gonna be November 6, 16, 17, and 18. So it's still only three days, but you're gonna wanna watch for more details as soon as Stampin' Up! gives us more details because they just kinda teased us with that um, this week that we're gonna have a seasonal sale coming up. Um, but as soon as I know more, I'll share on our Facebook group and I'll um, email about it as well too. So watch for more details. Um, it's always an awesome sale especially you know perfect timing if you want to get maybe especially the kits like those super cute kits that we have you can get those uh, maybe I don't even know They're, they don't discount everything so we have to kind of go through the list and see what's on sale but either way honestly even if the kits aren't on sale I think those are such an awesome gift idea and we're all like right so now that ooh, that lighting got weird um now that um, Halloween is over and you know, we pretty much skip over Thanksgiving, right? Oh my gosh, that lighting is so weird. I wonder if it's like, sometimes when I lift my hand or my arm, the lighting goes weird. I don't know, the camera, it's a good camera, right? Um, but yeah, the lighting got weird there. Um, so yeah, so basically we're already thinking about Christmas, right? I mean, I've been thinking about it for months, basically since the holiday catalog came out. Hey, Kathy, thank you for joining us. I'm glad you can spend your morning with us today. So glad to have you. Um, okay, so yeah, just keep an eye out for that seasonal sale. Um, I think that's everything I wanted to mention. Um, oh, well, or obviously the other thing too. Oh, look at that, weird. I keep like wanting to move there, okay. Maybe you guys don't see it. I wonder if you do. I rarely watch these Facebook Live videos back because I really don't want to <laughs> watch myself any more than I do like as I'm like talking like on the live right now. Um, but what was I going to say? Oh, another fun thing. If you're needing um, items for holiday projects to make, either if you're going to be sending out holiday cards or making little treat items, um, now is a great time um, to be getting those products to make those projects or wait just a little bit until that seasonal sale on November 16, 17, and 18 and you can get those things maybe on sale as well. Okay? All right. So as I mentioned earlier when I was talking about the awesome starter kit deal, right, that I love to recognize my team members, I want to give a huge shout out to Kay Jacoby who just joined my team, our Inspired Stampers team, during the last starter kit deal. Hello, Cindy, thank you for joining us today. I'm glad you can be here with us. Um, but yes, Kay just bought the starter kit. I think it was in September, was it September? It's really not been very long ago, August, September. Um, anyway, and she has already reached her first quick start level, which means she reached $900 in sales super fast. Um, she got there within her first full three months of getting the starter kit, right? So she gets a $50, excuse me, oh my, my voice. I'm gonna have a hard time today, I think. <coughs> so I am, I thought I was recovered. Yesterday I really thought that the, the cold was gone. Um, hold on, I need one more sip of water. <coughs> I'm gonna have to grab my mint, I bet. Mm. Excuse me, sorry about this. Yeah, so to deviate just for a moment here, I have a cold, I did get tested, it is not COVID, but like a friend of mine said, you literally cannot have what is like called a common cold anymore, you know, right? As soon as you are like sneezing or coughing or anything, people are so worried, which I get, I totally understand because it's a such a big scary thing. Um, but it's really hard when you have a cold and then you're like, you know, I'm trying to stay away from people as much as possible too. Um, Cause you know, you don't want to share a cold either. Um, but yeah, I thought I was over it. And, <coughs> and now of course on the Facebook Live, it's gonna get even worse cause that's how it always works. But. I have a mint too, so I might have to go grab that and pop it in. So yeah, sorry if I'm, <laughs> so I digress, right? Anyway, okay, so back to Miss A. Jacoby, reaching her, she got to what we call qualified team member, $900 in sales. She did it so quickly, she got to the first quick start level. So she gets a $50 shopping spree from Stampin' Up! through Quick Start. She actually gets a $25 shopping spree through me as well. And that's something I do individually, separate from Stampin' Up! is recognize all of my team members 
when you get to qualified team member at $900 in sales, when you promote to Bronze Elite, which is $1,800 in sales, and you also get that 25% discount from Stampin' Up! too. So awesome, lots and lots of recognition when you get to Silver, which is $3,600 in sales, and you have one team member, Stampin' Up! does some nice, nice things for you. And most especially and particularly and most fabulously, they give you a 2% product bonus on everything that you sell or order in a quarter. Then they figure what is 2% of that and then you get to get a product credit to use on your next order um, the beginning of the following quarter. So that's awesome. And then I also reward you as well. So lots of great incentives to kind of keep reaching um, different levels and promoting within Stampin' Up! too. So yes, congratulations, Miss Kay, for reaching qualified team member. And she's well on her way to promoting to Bronze Elite and getting that 25% discount on all of her orders too. So congratulations, Miss Kay. Um, she's been doing a great job month amidst um, lots of other kind of personal struggles and yeah, going on right now too. So thinking of you as well, Kay, as you're kind of dealing with lots and lots of things, as Philomena is too. Everyone's everyone's dealing with so many um, yeah personal struggles too. Which the beauty of Stampin' Up is it kind of can help brighten your day amidst um, you know some of those struggles too. So I know that's why many 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 uh, of us um, appreciate Stampin' Up too in our lives to kind of help brighten our lives too in those times when we need a little brightening up also, right? So, okay, um, let's see. I think uh, we are ready to talk about the next drawing, right? So if you're new to Facebook Live, if you haven't watched before, I love to kind of give you a quick recap on how things work around here, right? So last Facebook Live, I demonstrated these two cards featuring the Heartfelt Wishes stamp set, right? So if you put an online order in of at least $30, you automatically get both of these cards there. You can see a little bit better, right? You're gonna get both of these cards as a thank you from me for your online order. Your name also is right now in the drawing to win the super cute, the Nuts About Squirrels stamp set. Love, love, love these little squirrels. They're so fun. Um, your name is in the drawing to win the stamp set. Then you also, if you bumped your order up to $50, you get to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial. This is the November tutorial, which features gift tags and tie-ons. I'm gonna do a quick flip if you guys can kind of, can you kind of see? So lots of detailed instructions, pictures, um, so you know step-by-step -step how to put, there are some more pictures there, but maybe I'm not showing them very well. Um, but yeah, lots of pictures, lots of detail, lots of fun projects so you can pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishment, which are the holiday rhinestones with your $50 order. Plus, I have actually, if you guys haven't seen right, I have extended celebration here, I say in Alma, um, because I have a bunch of extra celebration products. So if you put a $50 order in through me, and it's not through Stampin' Up! So put your order in, get it shipped directly to you, or send me an order and I can get it ordered for you. But completely separately, let me know what free celebration item you would like. I have a number of them. If I'm out of one, by the time you let me know what you would like, we'll have to pick a different one because I have like a limited supply of items. Um, but then I will get that um, free celebration item to you. If you're local, I'll put it out on the porch. If it's long distance, I just need to ship it to you so there will be a small additional shipping charge just to get that celebration item shipped to you. But yeah, I, I wanted to make sure everybody knew that. The celebration has not ended. And I know it's funny because there are people, I just had a customer yesterday text me a picture of one of the penguin cards and then it had, um, who else was it? Um, why am I drawing a blank? The polar bear. There was a polar bear and she was like, I see the penguin like in the catalog because she was looking at the holiday catalog, but she said, I don't see where that um, that polar bear is. And I was like, oh, well that is from designer series paper that was part of celebration. If you put a $50 order in, you can get that paper for free. So, you know, people are still kind of seeing cute projects and ideas and you never know, maybe um, there's a stamp set or paper that you didn't think you needed and now you've seen a project that you just want to create yourself. Well, I can help you out. I still have celebration items for you if you're interested. So just put your $50 order in and let me know which item you 
you would like, okay? Or if you need to get a hold of me first to see do I have it, you can do that. Um, and then I can let you know if I still have it available, okay? So in the meantime, we're gonna do our drawing for the Nuts About Squirrel stamp set. Nuts About Squirrels stamp set. So I have names in the drawing right here. Anyone that put an online order in of at least $30 since our last Facebook Live, your name is in here. <coughs> okay, excuse me. This is probably driving people crazy, isn't it? Like no one wants to see anybody coughing anymore. I feel so bad too. It's like you want to hide in a corner when, <laughs> you know, you don't want anyone to hear you coughing or sneezing, right? Okay. All right. So here we go. The winner of the Nuts About Squirrels stamp set is, let's see, which one do I have in my hand? Here we go. Miss Christy Nutsley. All right. Congratulations, Chris, Christy. Christy, I will get the Nuts About Squirrels stamp set to you. So yes, thank you very much for your order as well. So next we have, I want to tell you guys the stamp set that we're going to give away on our next Facebook Live with your online order of at least $30 is going to be, I was super excited about this one, this Heartfelt Wishes stamp set, which is the one that I used. You can see here is one idea of a card that you could make with the Heartfelt Wishes stamp set with the Happiest Holidays. And then here's another one with the Merry Christmas Monica. Hello. Thanks for joining us today. So I'll give you the host code. Um, when we flip the camera down, it's also all, always on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. So if ever you want to put an online order in, you're like, what's that host code? It's always in the details above this Facebook Live video, and it's always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Put your $30 minimum, $30 order in. Might as well bump it up to $50 and still get a celebration choice, right? And then your name will go in the drawing to win the Heartfelt Wishes stamp set as well, okay? Plus, if you bump your order up to $50, you still get to pick from the free embellishment or the PDF tutorial too. So it's like Seriously, kind of like buy one, get one free right around here too with all the free stuff that you can get, okay? All right, I think I'm gonna check my notes real quick um, and I need to clean my table off for a sec here, right? Um, but yeah, I think we are, um, oh, just about ready to flip the camera down. One other quick thing I wanna mention is that I posted it on our Facebook group um, and I posted it on my personal page too. I have a ton of handmade cards. As demonstrators, we make a ton of handmade cards. I always make extra cards at my card classes so I can send them out for birthdays and thank yous. And I still end up with extras. So many of them are older. They're not necessarily with brand new current product, but I have a ton of handmade cards for sale. So if you're local, if you live around the area, stop by my porch anytime I have a huge rack of cards with I've got Thanksgiving cards out there I've got Christmas cards out there and then I've got birthdays thank you thinking of you um, get well friend hello basically congratulations any um, any sentiment that you need I probably have a card for hey Diana thanks for joining us so stop by my porch I sell those they're four dollars per card or three cards for ten dollars and if you are long distance and you need some cards, just let me know. I've had people contacting me lately about um, Halloween cards, Christmas cards, Thanksgiving cards, just kind of general sentiments. Um, I would love to get cards shipped out to you as well. So again, they're $4 each or three for $10. Um, so if you need handmade cards, if you're you know, if for some reason you just need some extra cards and you don't have time to put cards together, I've got you covered. I have lots and lots and lots of handmade cards, especially Christmas. I have so many and a huge variety. Some of them I have multiples of in Christmas cards. Um, many of them are one of a kind too, though. So lots and lots to choose from. I can send you pictures or, you know, we can kind of talk about what you're looking for. So let me know if you're interested. I'd love to, I'd love to get these handmade cards out to people that can use them because I use them, but I can only use so many right so there are lots lots for other people as well um oh my gosh yes you're just out monica says it's in the 30s in lexington kentucky ah she's usually working on friday so she can't watch the facebook live so you're enjoying your friday off it sounds like that's awesome yeah it's it's cold up here too but yeah, that's how it always that's michigan right we've started winter i think it snowed just a teeny tiny bit yesterday or the night before or something so yeah we're in for another long winter of course um okay so i think we are ready 
Let's see, I'm going to move things over here. We're going to flip the camera down after I make sure I've gotten everything cleaned up. We have a new host code. Sorry, I'm like flitting all over the place here. Um, for November, so I'll make sure to give that to you. Um, all right, so turn your heads away. We're going to fly through the air and do some stamping. I've got one more, I think, one more thing to share with you guys. Um, let's see. That's not too tippy, is it? I'm going to just fix my mount just for a sec. Okay, flipping the camera down. We are good. Okay, there we go. So here's our host code, and I, I always um, like try to I don't know. It helps me memorize things. So I come up with A2. So for me, that's a, Ann Arbor is A2 or A squared. And that's where I went to school is in Ann Arbor. So A2, Ann Arbor, A2, and then Zen Best, which there's something, I don't know, um, Zen, there's, I don't know. I just, I felt like this was like a great host code. There's just some like good karma in the Zen Best <laughs> so use use this host code because I think it's going to bring everyone like good zen, good karma, good luck. A2 zen best basically is what I, <laughs> it'll help me remember it. You guys probably think I'm crazy, but okay. Um, all right. So what do I want to show? Okay. One more thing. Here we go. All right. Focusing back on track. I got to share this with you guys, right? Okay. Let me make sure I have everything here. You guys, I made another um, to go class. <laughs> uh, the this is featuring I'm going to scoot that host code up there just a little bit the thinking thanks and peace stamp set is part of the next class to go it also features and I'm going to like zoom in because I have pulled apart my pack of whimsy and wonder designer series paper so much that I didn't even want to bring it out here because it's like a million parts and pieces but this is my most favorite designer series paper in the holiday catalog I think because it's kind of non-traditional colors in it too with polished pink Blushing Bride, Mossy Meadow, Mint Macaron, Misty Moonlight, and then an iridescent kind of pearlescent with some kind of silver accents in there too, right? So the paper is beautiful, right? Um, what else are we using on these projects? More like sparkly glitteriness. We used Wink of Stella, we used the Opal Rounds, and we used, this is the Glittered Organdy Ribbon. So you guys want to see the cards now too. If you haven't seen, I did post the video over um, on YouTube. So maybe you've seen it. If not, I want to share the four cards that we're making in this Thinking Thanks and Peace class to go. So we have, let's see, I'll just kind of pull them right up here. So we've got this first one that says Thinking of You, right? And then we've got Peace on Earth. So if you need a Christmas card, you could always do Thinking of You on here as well if you don't need Christmas cards. We've got Ascending Thanks. Love that one too. And notice the ribbon, the fun ribbon, and then the, the pearlescent, the opal pearl or the opal opal rounds, right? And then another Thinking of You card, right? So those are the four cards we make in class or in this class to go, right? So option number one includes the stamp set, a pack of the opal rounds, a full bolt to the ribbon, the wink of Stella, and a quarter pack of the Whimsy and Wonder Designer Series paper. You get the Whimsy and Wonder Designer Series paper for free in option number one, and I'm also gonna include a free celebration choice in option number one, which I completely forgot to mention in my YouTube video. So I've been trying to make sure that everybody knows that too. So again, option number one, you get a free celebration choice as well. Option number one is $65. Then option number two is if you already have the Thinking Thanks and Peace stamp set. Make sure you have the stamp set so you can do your own stamping right? You're going to get the opal rounds, the glittered organdy ribbon, the wink of Stella, the quarter pack of the designer series paper, and all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards, if I didn't mention that yet, plus the PDF tutorial that tells you how to make all of the cards, right? Option number two is $43. Then option number three is the PDF tutorial that just tells you how to make these cards. You're going to do everything all on your own. Um, get your, all the product prep everything. You just want to know how to make all of these cards, right? So option number three is $15 for the PDF tutorial. My team, anyone current member of my Inkspired Stampers gets those PDF tutorials for free every single month as well, and they can get past tutorials for free also. Hey, Lori, thanks for joining us. And then option number four is also for my current Inkspired Stamper team members. They can get the make and take, so two of each of 
these cards, all the parts and pieces. I send them the opal rounds, the ribbon. They're gonna need their Wink of Stella and their stamp set and their ink pads to do their own stamping, but I send them everything else they need to make these projects. And that option number four is $12 again for any of my current inspired stampers. Um, let's see, option number one and two, you can select porch pickup and then the shipping fee is waived. Otherwise, it's a $9 shipping free to get the shipping fee, excuse me, to get the card sent to you. Um, RSVPs are due two weeks from today on Friday, November 19th, and the kits will ship out no later than December 1st. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions. I love these cards are just beautiful. Like you can see that designer series paper, loved playing with so much of it. And then the ribbon too, you can see the sparkly glittery ribbon. Hello, Deb, thanks for joining us today. Okay, so let me know if you're interested and would like to get one of those to-go kits. I can send it right out to you. All right, so I think we are ready to do our stamping. First of all, though, I want to show you guys because, okay, here are the dies. We're going to scoot this up out of the way. So can you guys see? These are, uh, thank you for sharing the video too, Deb. So here is, I'm going to show you, first of all, this is the new Eden's Garden Suite. So we have this stamp set, and I love, we've got some different sentiments, right? Like the sending hugs. I love that sentiment. Let's celebrate everything. Dear friend, how are you? My heart is tied to yours. Tug if you need anything. That's so cute, right? And then hello there. And then some beautiful kind of leafy imagery there, right? So then the dies kind of complement. They don't actually cut any of these. Um, well, I guess you could. Mm, no, you couldn't even. You can kind of layer that over that, right? But you're not going to cut any of these things out with the dies, so they're more complementary dies. But aren't they, like, can you guys see? This one's a little bit dark. Maybe I should have put it on white paper. You can see the soft succulent, but all the detail in these dies, right? If I get up a little bit closer, you can see, like, look at that beautiful frame. And that'll fit. Let's grab. I'll show you on the back of this card. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. There, so that'll fit on a card base very nicely, won't it, right? Look at that, isn't that awesome? And then this was fun too, it's almost like a little label kind of a thing, I used that on a couple, on both of the projects actually. And then here's another little fun piece. They're all, they're just so pretty, aren't they? And then actually, I don't know if you can see, we'll put that one on there too, that little leaf there also. So beautiful set of dies here are the actual dies, if you can see those, that's what cut all of these things out, right, okay? I'm gonna scoot that over here just a little bit. Okay, so you guys wanna see what we're gonna make. Let's see, I'm gonna show you this card first. So this is kind of a fun fold too with that sending hug. So there's the little leafy piece, that little banner piece, and we've got the sending hugs. And then this opens up like this. And then there's the little, that little stamp right there on the inside too. So isn't that kind of fun? A little fun fold right there, right? I know, Deb, the dies are beautiful, aren't they? Okay, so we are going to grab our grid paper. Okay, all right, let's see. Get everything we need. I'm gonna tell you dimensions and how to score everything too. Because you, there's a bit of scoring and different cuts than we normally do. And again, I will include, oh, that little die, okay. Huh, yeah, so I didn't put that one back in there. I'm like, oh, good thing I found that, huh? Let's put that maybe right there so I don't lose it. <laughs> I'm like, where can I put it so I won't lose it? Okay, so here's our initial card base, right? And that measures four and a quarter by eight and a half inches. And then we scored it at three inches, which is a little bit different because when I first did this one, I scored it at two and three quarters because that's where I usually do it, but that's not right. So this is gonna go like this, okay? Then we have, I'll show you kind of in order. This piece of designer series paper is gonna go on the inside, right? And then there's the back side of that. This is my traditional four inches by five and a quarter inches, the cut that goes on the card base right there. Okay, then let's see, what will we show you? Then we're gonna flip this back here. Then I have this piece of designer series paper that's gonna go right on there. And then this one measures two and three quarters by four inches. So that's gonna go right there, okay? Then we'll flip this open. Then we have a piece of Evening Evergreen cardstock. This one measures two and a half by nine inches and it is scored at 
four and a half inches, and that's gonna go like that and that, okay? So this is gonna fold in, that's gonna fold in, this is gonna go right here. Then we have this piece of designer series paper that goes right on there, as well as there's another white piece that goes on the inside, because these are the same size, that white piece and this designer series paper. You're gonna cut both of those to, let's make sure we have two and one quarter by four and one quarter, okay? And then I've got some scraps of soft succulent, evening evergreen, and basic white to do our stamping and die cutting, okay? I'm gonna keep this white piece out too, because this is the one right here that has that little stamp on it. So why don't we just do that one right now and kind of get that going. Okay, and we will also stamp our sentiment too. And the thing to know, at first I thought, now I, I think I did need to ink up my ink pad a little bit too, um, but it's supposed to look kind of washed like that. Like it's not supposed to be full on, you can kind of tell from that stamp there also that these aren't meant to be like full, super like full strength, I guess, in terms of stamping. It's supposed to look like that, okay? So there's that one. And then we are going to stamp our sending hugs sentiment. Just ink that up and press straight down and lift straight up. There we go. So you can see, so that one, that kind of indicates to you too, see how it did stamp full strength, but this one, it's just not going to, okay? And it's not meant to. All right, so there we go, we've got that. Now I think we are going to do our die cutting, but you know what I realized? I didn't show you guys. Let me show you again the designer series paper. Let's scoot those out of the way so I don't get, because I want to show you guys this again, because I think maybe you can see it a little bit better if it's down on the table, right? So Let's scoot that out of the way too. There, so that is the one side of all of this, what is it called? Ever Eden Designer Series paper, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Deb. I know, I always love the fun folds too. So there, you guys kind of get an idea. You can see all the gold accents kind of popping out when I put it down on the table. Okay, so that's one side. And then here's the other kind of more softer muted tones, but still just as pretty um, and very complimentary to the other side, right? Again. Okay, so that's the designer series paper. And then I also want to show you the, this is called Ever Eden, it's cotton paper, okay? And you get, I was going to make sure, 10 sheets, okay? So let me open this up, because I actually did not use this yet. I'm I need to use it, but this is the cotton paper. So we've got five sheets of soft succulent and then five sheets, and you guys can kind of, can you kind of almost hear it, feel it? Like I said, I, it's thicker, like it's, it's like, um, I mean, I guess it's cotton, right? But it's like um, tissue paper, but it's much thicker than that, I would say. But So evening evergreen and soft succulent, and you get five sheets of each of those. I didn't want to pull it out all the way because I'm like, oh my gosh, am I going to get it back in? See, it is going to like rumple up a little bit. But you know what? It's probably supposed to. It's not supposed to be flat, right? Um, it's supposed to probably have some texture. I'm going to be curious to see what people do with this paper, right? Um, yeah, you could have some fun even with all the yeah, I've kind of made a mess of that one, haven't I? Okay, we're just gonna pull that one out because that one doesn't want to slide back in very well. I'll do that later off camera. We'll get that fixed right up. Okay, all right, so let me grab my die cutting machine here. Make sure. All right, so let's die cut a couple of things we need for this card. Mm, actually, they're all over here, aren't they? Okay, so we've got this one. Oh yeah, <laughs> so this one's pretty new, right? And I didn't even realize it was on there. Um, I'm like, where's my other plate? But it was already on there. Actually, what if we go like this? There, I think we can fit them all on there. So first thing we are using the layering circle dies. Let's see, this one is, that's the smallest second, the third smallest circle in the layering circle dies. And then where are my other dies? Right here in front of my face, okay. 
So we put this one up here so I wouldn't lose it. Got that one there. And then here is this label piece we're gonna use on our Emerald Envy. Okay. Put those right there. All right, and I'm gonna go back and forth a couple of times. <clears throat> Okay, just to make sure everything cuts through, we're gonna go one more time. Maybe a little excessive, but it's easier. I have my little um, paper piercing tool, but <laughs> it's easier if everything just pops right out. And let's see what we got. Yes, beautiful. Okay, that one's gonna come right out, isn't it? So there's that little leaf, right, in soft succulent cardstock. Okay, and then here's this other guy. And this one's gonna pop right out too. So there's that one in evening, can you kind of see it? The evening evergreen, isn't that beautiful? The detail, and then our circle, our sending hugs. Okay, let's see, we'll get those little bits off of there. All right, I think we are good. With these things, I need that other die back there. Okay, all right, so I think we can put things together here. Doo -doo -doo. All right, I kind of made everything like go askew here, didn't I? Okay, we've got adhesive. I'm gonna grab this little baby because we're gonna need that for some of like this little piece. I'm sure I'm gonna need it for. Okay, I think we're good. Are we still in view? <laughs> I think everything kind of went crazy there. <coughs> all right. Let's see. We're just going to scoot these over here, too. All right. All right. All right. All right. How many times can you say all right, huh? <laughs> Maybe a couple more. Okay. So we're going to use our adhesive. You guys see how I'm still tipping back. I'm still having really good luck with my stamp and seal. I hope you guys are, too. Tip it back when you run it. That is the key. Okay, to kind of break the adhesive. You know, I'm not gonna jinx myself. I was gonna say, I haven't had to advance it in a really long time. But as soon as I say something like that, then it'll happen a million times on Facebook Live. So I definitely don't want to jinx myself by saying that, right? Um, let's actually put this one. You want a bunch of adhesive because this is kind of acting as your card base. So now this one, eyeballing it, kind of laying it down, making sure top and bottom, side to side, everything looks pretty even before I press down too hard. So I don't know why I feel like that looks a little bit not totally straight that way. There, I think that looks good. Right, okay, so now we're gonna press firmly because we don't want that piece to come off. We're going to put our little white, basic white piece on the inside. I keep getting, I'm running too far and I'm getting adhesive in places I don't want it. Okay, so there we go. There's that one. And then we're going to add adhesive on the back of this one. So don't forget, ladies, if you put an online order in and use that host code, that A2 Zen Best, no E though, and Best, um, you're gonna get this project and the other one I'm gonna show you in just a sec as a thank you. Okay, let's bring this back into view so I don't screw anything up, but I think I'm good so far, right? Now, I have to remember, I think I did, um, yep, okay. So we're gonna put dimensionals behind this little baby. So can you see that? Isn't that so? So cool, right? Okay, so we're gonna put one there and one there. Oh, I know what I did, I remember this one now. Okay, yep, so we're gonna put these and which way? It goes that way, it looks the right way to me. Okay, so we've got that one right there. Then I'm going to, with my little sending hugs, and I wanna make sure I put one at the top and one at the bottom of the sentiment, because then I'm gonna lay this right over top. But I don't like when it gets wobbly. Does that make sense? Like I want it to go here and here. So I'm trying to make sure that I did that. 
with my dimensionals, and I think I did. Okay, now we are going to use this little silicone mat because I don't want to get um, sticky all over um, my grid paper. We're going to add that little leaf right there, right? And then the final finishing touch is going to be our gems. These are the garden gems is what these are called. Okay, <clears throat> so kind of like these little teardrops or raindrops. I'm gonna put one right there. Is that where I want it? I don't wanna press down too hard yet until I make sure I have it where I want it. So I kinda of did one there. And, yep, that looks good. One there and one there, and then I did one more over on the other. I thought, oh, it just needs a little something else right over here. So I added one right there too. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I'm glad you like that fun fold card. Me too, Philomena. Okay, a little bit of glare from the beautiful sun shining in today. So sending hugs, and then you can write a little note on the inside of your card as well. Okay, so there is our first card. And again, featuring those garden gems. I'll show you those again. It's funny how in some light I see red and in other kind of in darker light, I just see like a really deep green. And then that soft succulent right there too. So cherry cobbler and soft succulent or whatever color you need them to be. I always say you can kind of bend the colors depending on what you put them on. They kind of take on that color, I think. Okay, let's scoot these. We're going to actually, I'm going to keep one over here to remind myself. Let's get that ink out of the way. That's how to use the wrong ink on the next project. Okay, so our next card Oh, I love this. This hello there. And then on the inside, dear friend, how are you? And then I always have to, I love using those little stamps on the inside corner of my card. So this time I used some silver foil and then we used some of the other dyes there also, along with some of that really beautiful, the evening evergreen um, ribbon as well. One of our, those are the in color ribbons that came out in our annual catalog. Love to pull some annual catalog product back in. Um, and use it, um, you know, with holiday and even um, next mini catalog, the January to June mini catalog product too. And then here are a couple more of the gems. And can you see, like, I don't honestly see any red in those right now. Uh, if I go in the right light, you do, but I think they look very green in here too, kind of with the evening evergreen. Okay, so this one, let's see. Let me tell you about dimensions on this guy as well. <clears throat> okay, so we have our evening evergreen cardstock, card base, right? We start with the evening evergreen cardstock. There, we got to get that cleaned off. Those little bits are bugging me. Okay, so here we go. Evening evergreen full sheet of cardstock. Along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half, and along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. Deb, I'm glad you like that card. Me too. Okay, so there's our card base. Then we are going to, on the inside of our card, Again, our very standard four by five and a quarter inch piece that goes right on the inside there, okay? Then we have a piece of soft succulent cardstock. This is gonna go on the outside of the card right there that measures three and three quarter by five inches. And then our piece of designer series paper that layers right over the top. Oops, I'm not so in view there, am I? This one measures three and a half by four and three quarters. And again, all of these dimensions, all of the product item codes, colors, everything you need to know to recreate these cards and order these things so you can recreate them will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon. Okay, then in the meantime, I have some silver foil and a couple of pieces of evening evergreen. And then there's this little piece of basic white for the hello there. This one measures three quarters of an inch by two and one quarter inches. We're just gonna stamp our little hello there on that one. So why don't we do that? We'll do our stamping and then we will do our die cutting. Okay, so I am using soft succulent ink this time. Oh, we've got our glare. I'm gonna just go with it instead of dragging the table around. Maybe we'll just go up here a little bit. So on the inside, and again, you'll see this one doesn't stamp full strength, which I think it's actually really pretty like that. And then we've got our dear friend, how are you? And I'm gonna have to bring it down because I can't see quite as well. So it might be a little bit, here we go. Now we're not so in the glare. 
Dear friend, how are you? And now this is the tricky one right here, the hello there. I get serious with this one. I got two shots. All right, I think that looks good. <laughs> I was gonna say, if it doesn't work out, I can use the other side. I know, Becky, the paper is beautiful, isn't it? I don't know if I showed you either. So there's the one side. We'll go over here. Oh, yeah, this is so pretty, isn't it? And it so it really complements the stamp set very well, too. Like the patterns in the designer series paper really work nicely with the kind of imagery in the stamp set, too. Okay. All right, we got our stamping done, so we're good with that. Let's see, we're gonna do some die cutting now. I'm gonna grab my cut and emboss machine again, and I'll show you some of the other dies we're going to use here. So yeah, if you haven't ordered this, if you're not a demonstrator, you've only been able to order maybe for a couple of days, this Eden's Garden Suite, beautiful suite of products. Okay. Let's see, what am I doing? I'm gonna have to do this two separate times, I think. Let's just do that, okay? We are going to do, this is actually gonna be on there, right? Um, where are the, how do I keep losing the dies? Oh, they're right here, okay. Like, I know I have them. So again, here are, woo! Don't wanna complain about that sun, right? So we're gonna use this die right here, oopsie daisy, on that piece, and then this little scrolly detail piece right there. Okay. All right. And this, this long, this one is so long, we actually cut off um, part of it. I put it on the card and then just cut it right off at the edges. I'll show you what I mean in a sec, but we're going to go again back and forth a couple of times. Excuse me. Okay. One more crank. And we're good. Okay, let's see. Ha ha. Love it. Okay, so that one pops out nicely. And then there's this one that popped out nicely as well. We might have to, I was going to say we might have to pop a couple things, but barely. That little buddy there. I think that looks good. Isn't that so pretty? All that detail on there, right? And then this one, I remember it being, oh, there, there we go. That just popped right up and off out of there. How about that? And I'll clean that off later. You guys don't need to worry about that. Okay, good. So maybe I didn't even really, oh, hold on. That's right. I got one more thing to do. Okay. There. I'm trying to clean it off. Okay. Now I can do that. Okay, there's stuff everywhere. <laughs> Little bits. These these dies, that's just what they do, right? You end up with lots of little bits all over. Okay, so then I forgot my silver foil. So back, back one more time with some silver foil. And I'm going to show you guys that silver foil paper too, because it's beautiful. There are three different... Debbie, hello. Thanks for joining us. How are you? Okay. Three different kind of shades of the silver foil. There we go. And there is one of the silver foil right there. Okay. Let's scoot this out of the way now. Okay, I want to show you guys the other. I think I have it right here. Yeah, you can almost kind of see. Can you see in the light? I know we've got such a glare. Actually, it's these three right here. This one's almost like a bluey gray. This one's a super dark, and then this is the lighter one that we used on. Same thing if you can see over here, right? This is the one we used. This one right here is the kind of, this is almost like a purpley, really, in the right, like a purpley, and then this one's a really deep. So cool, huh? Lots of awesome sparkly foils and good stuff. Okay, there we go. All right, I think we're pretty clean. Clean enough, anyway. Okay, so we're gonna put this piece on the inside of our card. Oops. So I think it's easier. There we go. I wasn't tipping back enough. It's easier to pick up where you left off, I think, than advancing it forward. That's my latest trick. But generally, I don't need to do that. Not nearly as much as I used to. So like I said, loving my seal now. Okay. We're going to put this piece of designer series paper 
And again, you can get all of the products in this new Eden's Garden Suite with one item code. You get the stamp set, the dies, the designer series paper, the cotton paper, and the gems all in one item code, which is so nice. Make sure you use my, um, what's that called? My host code with your order and then your name will go in our next Facebook Live drawing too. Okay, we're gonna need that again in a sec. Okay, so this one I'm just gonna lay and you can see it's a little bit too long, but I'm just gonna kind of lay it along here, I'm gonna press firmly, and then I'm just gonna grab my scissors, and I'm just gonna snip. Oops, it's almost easier for me to do it the same way. There's something about going the other way that doesn't work as well for me. Okay, so there's, isn't that cool? You guys can really see the detail on there now too, right? And then this little baby, this is definitely one that we're gonna, oops, excuse me, I just bumped that mm, adhesive. You're just gonna wanna use, and you need to be careful, because I did this, actually, I might even do it again. Um, I ripped it. <laughs> so very gently when you lift up, which is hard to do, <laughs> not have it like stick to you everywhere. Okay, there we go, all right, I did it. Yeah, last one I ripped, but um, I put it in a spot where you can't really even tell, which in some ways it can almost be good, like if you want it to be a little bit wider, if you cover it up somehow, then that's okay. So a little viney detail there, right? Next, I'm going to use some dimensionals again on the, oops, on the back of this little banner piece. I love, there's something about, I love the little detail on that, right? Okay, so we're gonna put this one right about there and i want that to kind of pop up so i'm putting this down a little bit lower so i can see all that detail back there too all right then a couple more little steps here ladies and we are good so we're going to add our hello there right on there and then okay we have debbie hello Thank you for joining us today. We are just wrapping up our second card. Thank you for sharing too, Debbie. Awesome. Love your shares. Truly appreciate that. Helps me reach more friends, more stamping friends. We're going to use a little mini glue dot here. Okay, crafter math has seriously happened on my table today. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna put that little bow there and then we just have to add a little bit of bling, right ladies? Always the bling. So I'm gonna use, there's like a small size and a large size. So I'm gonna put one, I did one large there and then I did one small and one large over here. <laughs> yes, definitely need to catch back up, Debbie. Lots of good stuff shared today. There we go. So what do you guys think, right? Where's my other one? Beautiful cards today, right? That hello there, dear friend, how are you? And sending hugs with that. Yes, I am. <laughs> I am. I'm trying to like not make a big deal out of it because I don't want to freak anybody out. Although I can't really give you my cold through the, <laughs> through the, through Facebook Live, can I? Right? Okay. So quick recap, ladies. I'm like, man, I am like a jumbled mess here today. New host code though, right? Put your 30, sorry, I'm like bumping into everything. Okay, <laughs> it's just how it is today. All right, put your $30 online order in and you will get both of these projects as a thank you from me. Also, make sure you use the host code, the A2ZENBST to get these projects as a thank you from me. Your name also is going to go in the drawing to win the Heartfelt Wishes stamp set, right? If you bump your order up to $50, you can pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the Holiday Rhinestone Jewels. Plus, I have celebration items left, so you can still get a free celebration item too. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. I'm so glad you loved these cards as much as I do. That Just a beautiful suite of products. Again, that 
Eden's Garden Suite. I'll give you everything that you need to know to get these um, items ordered so you can make these fun projects too. Yes. Yeah, so thank you guys. Hopefully you have a great weekend and we will see you on next Facebook Live. Bye everybody. And I won't sound stuffy or snuffly next time. I'm just sure of it, right? Okay. All right. Bye everybody.